welcome back. My next guest tonight is an Emmy Award winner you got to know is Jackie on Roseanne. She's now back on Broadway and nominated for a Tony. Plus, she's going to be Jackie on Roseanne. Please welcome Lori Metcalf. <laughs> Just for the people out there uh -huh. who may not know, I just reminded them in, the, in your intro right there that uh, Roseanne's coming back. It is coming back. I know. I know. How long ago did that go? How long is it between like seasons then? Between oh wow, twenty years? I don't know. Really? Yeah. Something like that. Well, my son's uh, twenty-three and he was born on the show. How did that come about? How does something that's um, gone off I the air 20 years ago just come back like that? What happened was, I think what happened was that John Goodman went on the talk, sure. Sarah Gilbert's show, right, yeah. and they did a little parody, like a 30 second parody. And it went really well. And then when he went on to the actual, one of the anchors mm -hmm. then on the show asked John if he would consider doing a reunion. And he said, of course I would. And that got Sarah thinking. And then Sarah made calls to everybody, and everybody said yes. So it came, it came together really fast. So this coming fall? Um, well, we're going to tape it in the fall, so yep. I guess it will be on in 2018. Okay. Hard to go back into a character after that long? Like, did you have a hook for Jackie? Like, what was hook? the thing? Like, what was the first thing you think of when you're like, okay, I have to get I, back into a character I, for 20 years? I think years. of Barney Fife, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> really? One well, bullet in your pocket, well, no. But Jackie was um, just trying to do so well mm -hmm. and uh, couldn't, couldn't accomplish things. Easily. Well, well you, you have. You've got three Emmys. This is your fourth Tony nomination for A Doll's House Part Two. Yes. Yeah. I know. I know that you lived in Chicago. I know you lived in Chicago yeah. for many years. Did you grow up there as well? No, I grew up in Southern Illinois, but okay. I feel like I'm from Chicago mm -hmm. because we started Steppenwolf Theater, and uh, sure. I think it's in sure. its 40th season now. Something like so that. So I, yeah. I was around there for quite a while. Well, um, did you always want to be an actress? Was that the plan no, from the beginning? No, 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 some no. People... I was much too practical to think that I would ever be able to, to make a living as an actor. So I, I, I was a German major. <laughs> that, <laughs> Thinking that, that, that the that's safe, the way in. That's yeah, that's the safe, the safe plan. Sandra, every, plan always, one. Yeah, plan sure, A. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and then I. I uh, when did that to occur? To you not being. Uh... Um, well, that I wasn't going to make it as a German interpreter. Um, I, I, I ended up not pursuing. I got I got sidelined by meeting the Steppenwolf people. Okay. And yeah. so we formed our theater up in Highland Park, mm -hmm. and uh, did and it's still going strong. Now, mm -hmm. Once we moved into Chicago. So you said you, you went to anthropology after after. Yes. Yeah. When I in hindsight, I think what I was trying to do was to um, look at to to find something where I could observe behavior, and also interpret. So winding up as an actor, I get to do sort sure. of both those things. From anthropology to acting, isn't that big of a deal? Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's not that much of a switch, I suppose. No, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, it's like going to a native tribe and then impersonating them. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, now, as I said, you're, you're nominated. The entire cast is nominated yes. for A Doll's House yeah, Part Two. Now, this is kind of an interesting idea. It's, uh, it's, at, it's at the Golden Theater on Broadway. And again, on, uh, it's up for the Tony on June 11th. Mm -hmm. Here on CBS, the Tony Awards, and you've been nominated four times. Never got a Tony yet. Nope. Me either. I don't have one either. <laughs> but uh, after 138 years, yes. there's a sequel to Ibsen's play. A Norwegian dramatic playwright <laughs> said his piece 138 years ago. Yeah. And and you guys have got the follow up. What what and is Lucas it saying Nath. to us now? Well, Lucas Nath, the playwright, ha has is is I, I find the title of it so cheeky. Sure. That he would name it a doll's house part two, mm -hmm. picking up where Henrik Ibsen left off. Right. Um, but the title is a bit misleading because some people might think that you have to know the original, mm -hmm. but the sequel stands on its own. You don't have to know it. And it also might seem like it's a drama and it's a period piece and it mm -hmm. might be kind of dated and stuffy and yeah. it's not that either. Mm -hmm. It's very fresh and it's very funny. Well, that's the thing about Ibsen is that <laughs> while he was writing in the 19th century, the issues he's writing about are very contemporary. Yes. Doll's House is about how marriage is a trap for women. Yes. Uh, Enemy of the People is about industrial pollution and having the courage to call out the company for poisoning the citizens in a town. I mean, it's hip, it's happening, it's fresh. 
<laughs> and funny. It is. It is. <laughs> what do you do to warm yourself up for a show every night? The show, this show in particular, is very quick and very glib. Um, and so what I do, I go to the theater early and I go down onto the set before the audience comes in and it's just empty. And uh, I do the whole, I do all my monologues very mm -hmm. quickly and walk mm -hmm. around the set by myself. Mm -hmm. And then I go back up to the dressing room and I run the whole, my, my part out loud in my dressing room mm -hmm. all the way through. Do tongue twisters or anything like that? Because... Um, I haven't. No? No. Would you like to do some now? Because we, we've prepared a few. Yes, because I do need that you. vocal warm up. Just I do before you. the show. We do this occasionally when we, have, when we have stage actors on. We like to do vocal warm-ups with them mm -hmm. to give you another tool you can use to <laughs> yeah. your show that much better. Yeah. So uh, all of our things are going to be, you look at that one over there, okay. and I'll look at this one over here. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, uh, okay, you ready to do this thing? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Late Show's new vocal warm-ups. <laughs> you want me to go first? You want to go first? I'll go. You go first, you yeah. go first. Is that right? The mm -hmm. first one is... <clears throat> Billy Crystal pistol whips hillbilly silly. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Don Cheadle downs Cheetos whilst donning torn chinos. Mm -hmm. Pavarotti's Maserati propelled him promptly to the potty. Dumps McGump sump pump for fun and loudly bump Mumford and Sons. <laughs> Thank you. Vocal warm ups. Thanks so much for being here. You can see her in A Doll's House Part 2 on Broadway and at the Tonys June 11th here on CBS. Lori Metcalf, everybody. We'll be right back.